Okay, I'm doing an analysis of Muhammad Qatani's Power of the Word speech that won him the 2015 World Championship of Public Speaking. And I hope you don't mind, I'll be giving you my breakdown of, you know, the things he does well to win in the speech. And the first thing he does well is the opening moment. Bam. Novelty. What? Pause. Pause and novelty. The cigarette, no one's ever done that before. Tremendously ballsy mood move and it gets just the hugest laugh within the first 10 seconds of his speech. And also great use of question. What? Moves All forward. Are smoking kills? Ask the question again. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Do you know that the amount of people dying from diabetes? Now, again, remember in my book I talk about uh, statistics, the importance of using statistics. He uses a statistic now, or a quote, you know, borderline statistic quote is, and that's very powerful in the speech. And not only does it, but he mocks the use of uh, how statistics can be made up. Are three times as many people dying from smoking? Yet if I pulled a snicker bar, nobody would say anything. <laughs> Do you know that the leading cause of lung cancer is that actually a cigarette? It's your DNA. Again, the cigarette is a great prop because it can be put away to his pocket without creating too much distraction for the audience. And, he, as, yeah, he can bring it out later. You could smoke for years and nothing would ever happen to you. This whole war against smoking is just to restrict the farming of tobacco. Notice Mr. Council Chair. Put the cigarette there. Anyway. Of course, masters yeah. and guests. Holding I pain class in the front. You lost points for that. Even though I just made them up. Big laugh there. Great pause. With a group of my friends. And the results? Five of them believed what I said. Two of them started smoking. <laughs> Words! Great pause. He owns the stage here. He's so calm, so relaxed. There's no sense of him rushing at all. He said and articulated in the right way can change someone's mind. They can alter someone's belief. You are... Here he's bringing in the message. The words can change someone's mind. Alter power to bring someone from the slums of life. Yeah, use of hype. Make a successful person out of them. Or destroy someone's happiness using, using only contrast. your words. Yeah, he's using the contrast there. So from the positive. Does that seem a bit too good to be true? Question, rhetorical question. A simple choice of word can make a difference between someone accepting or denying your message. Except you can have a very beautiful thing again. to say, but say it in the wrong words and... <laughs> Great sound effect there. It's gone. I have a son who's four. Yeah, he's moving to tell a story about and his son. And he had son. this bad habit of writing on Moves the wall. Moves to the right chaos. side of the stage. And one evening I walk into his room and he's going at it, just writing and drawing nice and so on. And I say, hey, 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 hey. Changes the volume, speaks louder. Great gesture and eye contact. Are you stupid? Another question. A lot of questions. Don't you speech. ever do that again. And guess what happened? Another question. He did it again. Lots of questions in this speech. Nobody likes to be threatened. Nobody likes to be intimidated. Again, pointing His at the program. His pride will not allow it. He did it again just to spite me. A week later, I walked into his room and again, he's going at it. And this time, he was even looking at me. Great facial gestures. Moves to the stage and crouches down. I can't Great change I can't in height. Don't do that. You're a big boy now. Clever and he never did it again. Because his pride wants him to be. Pointing back to the, the child. Boy. That's the hologram. Child drawing on the wall. Have you ever wondered now why he's moving to another nobody part of the stage cares about global warming? Even though it's a the very stage serious to do issue. the rest of his next part of his speech. It could kill all of us. Because when you go home and you flip on the TV and you see a scientist trying to talk about global warming, it goes something like this. Facial expression. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see from the graph use here, use of accent, the use of voice. For 2014, it shows the water level is rising. Very clever. 
being the character, this, uh, pointing out this, this table height as well. The monodoxic level and the third ozone layer. The hologram of, the, uh, of the chart. Nice pause. So he holds it. He knows it's funny. The message never get across. Never get across it. See, even with the, uh, um, you know, the English doesn't have to be perfect for some of these guys. English is a second or third language. But, you know, the judges know that. They give them a If chance. you are a person who's a role model, if you are a person who's been admired, anything you say could be believed. Anything you utter could be taken as truth. My friend Nasser, he loved his father. Again, you know, he's introducing the next story, so he's moving sort of to the next part of the stage. He's pointing to his friend Nasser. Idealized his father. He would do anything to make him happy. But his father was the kind of person who's not easy to impress. And year after year, Nasser tried, and his father's like, yeah. It's funny. Nice pause. Fourth year in college, Nasser got straight A's. And he thought to himself, this is it. This is what will finally make my dad proud. Now, he admitted that this isn't a true story, so this is someone he knows. So he sort of made up, he admits making up this story, which is what happens in speeches. Um, you know, two of the stories, well, one of the stories may be true, and two may be made up. And, you know, never let sticking to the truth get in the way of a good speech, I guess. That's what the message is here. He the phone, he called his dad, Dad. Use of mine. You know, some people say that there's no phones like that anymore, but he did it, it works well, and yeah, so there you go. I got straight A's. Are you proud? Please tell me you're proud, Father. Nice dramatic there. Yeah, yeah. listen, son, I'll have to call you back, I'm busy. I'm busy was the single sentence that broke the camel's back. And that's a metaphor, broke the camel's back. And he started drinking. He started, not like grandma, but doing drugs. Still works. Hanging out with the wrong crowd. Not so why. Why are you throwing your life away? Nice repetition of the word why. If the one person in the world that I care about the great, most doesn't great. care, then... Characterization, miming the character. Then why should I? Drinking. Drink. And one evening I got the phone call. Nasser's in the emergency room. Drug overdose. He's the key part of his speech. I rushed to the hospital. Moving forward from back I to front. I saw him. Great use of stage. Thing. And I saw that machine go beep, Great beep, use of sound. Beep, 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 beep. beep. repetition. And I saw doctors try to bring him back to life. Clear! <laughs> nice mime. Clear! Very powerful mime for the audience. Clear! It's clear. It's clear, 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 that clear. A single it's word clear. Could have saved. Now he uses the clear, 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 and then it's clear. Very that was just amazing. And I think that, you know, I don't know how what the competition was like, but I think that use of the clear three clears and the fourth clear, it's clear. I know that just resonated through the audience. And, um, and then he ties it into the message the, you know, about words. It's like, words have power. Words are power. Here's the take home message. Words could be your power. Yep. Tell you can you change your life, inspire a nation, and make a, this world a beautiful place. Isn't that what we all wanted? Isn't that what we are all in this hall? Your not, mouth can spit venom. No, not perfect grammar, but still gets away with it. Or it can mend a broken soul. Beautiful use of now he's bringing out. Ladies the and gentlemen, use of let that be. venom and soul. Our goal. Let it be our goal. And he crushes. Can't share. Now, now it doesn't really kind of make sense with the cigarette thing, but I tell you what, the novelty factor in the speech was so high with that great beginning. He he would have won that speech in the beginning. Um, if he'd just done a half decent job with the rest of the speech, he still have been, would have been, you know, really strongly intended to win. As it stands, the rest of the speech was very tight, very good, great stories, great use of gestures, great characters, um, great repetition of words, enough to make him a clear, clear, clear winner on the night. Well done, Muhammad Katani. And um, 
I actually saw him at the World Championships. He was outside smoking, so he seemed like a pretty down-to-earth guy. All right, I uh, hope that's been some help to you. Just wanted to break it down, and uh, I use some of this, you know, what I mentioned in the books, you know, stage movements, use of height, sound effects, repetition of words, use of contrast. You use contrast very well here by contrasting the positive and the negative. Um, I, could, I could, you know, give him some good feedback on his speech that he probably should have kept the positives on one side and the negatives on one side. But sometimes he kept the hair. Yeah, he shifted them around. He had the negatives on this side and the positive on that side. Not to matter. It doesn't matter. And the grammar, he got away with a few things like that. But on the, on the strength of the speech, it was such a great speech that those little inconsistencies in grammar, um, I don't know whether they cost him. I don't know whether the judges give uh, speakers from who speak English as second or third language a little bit of a chance. Uh, definitely a great speech, definitely a clear winner, and well done, Muhammad. Check him out, find him out. If you can get him along to speak at your club, I hope you can. This is really good. And well done. Great, very clever guy and very funny.